Welcome to the House of Dior. My name is John Galliano, and today I'm thrilled to be able to show you some of the jewels in Dior's crown, the real stars of the house, the dresses. La Jolie Victoire. The inspiration for the 100th anniversary of Mr. Dior. She was one of his favorite cabine models, um, one of the first of her kind, unclassical in a way, um, and epitomized the youth of, of that time in Paris. Um, and I loved the idea to take her esprit, her spirit, as inspiration. And um, I imagined her kind of finding the underpinnings, the crinoline, the work that's really hidden in a couture dress, and finding that so exciting and um, exhilarating that I wanted to capture that moment, and we called it work in progress. Over here, we have the very famous Taille Bar of 1947, a revolution, the new look. This beautiful jacket, soft, draped bosom, tiny, tiny waist, and slightly accentuated hips. Um, was all the rage, worn over this full pleated skirt, which caused a scandal. And over here, we have another new look, La Cocotte. Incredibly streamlined silhouette, slightly gathered, accentuating the hips, very simple, fastening, single-breasted opening, top color in black, again molding the bosom, and then this extraordinary workmanship of the back hair, which gives it this very, very edgy, very kind of contemporary look. And here we have one of the first dresses I did for the House of Dior, um, thinking about Mr. Dior's blooms and his love of gardening, and I started to venture into a more oriental garden using the, the bias cut technique, um, which I love working with. It's like working with um, liquid mercurial oil. And... Um, on memories of that one. And then we have another new look, a reinvention, Jaquetta, autumn winter 2003. Here, I'm playing with the mix of both masculine tailoring and the very feminine flu, and almost trying to evoke the passion, the discipline, um, the sound of flamenco. This was inspired by one of my research trips to Venice and Tuscany, which rekindled my passion for Renaissance art. And um, here you can see we took direct inspiration um, from articulation.